a lot of people when they feel stressed or angry will go to the sea just watching the waves moving the smells the sounds will make them calm down and relax some people will actually want to recreate this feeling and paint the sea but guess what a lot of them would just fail just because it's so hard it's a hard subject right in my classes i was able to help a lot of people to create beautiful seascapes and today i'm going to share with you my secrets on how to create beautiful seascapes hey guys my name is Lata Rabinovich and i'm an artist with over 20 years experience but the main thing I'm an expert in fluid art. This is amazing form of abstract painting when you take the liquid paint and create amazing abstract paintings. I'm here with you to show how easy it could be done if you're doing everything right. So this is my new series, which call My Secrets and the, um, go ahead check all others by the way if you don't know how to um, mix the paint or have the basic question how to get ready before painting check out the, my other videos on my channel if you like it don't forget click the like and subscribe to my channel ring that bell so you will get notification next time when i will create a new video just for you but for now let's talk about my secrets about creating beautiful seascapes the secret number one if you want to go for more realistic type of painting try to use more realistic colors like dark blue light blue aqua cobalt blue i'm not saying that you shouldn't use any crazy colors if you want it definitely go for it i saw such a beautiful seascape done in orange in purple it's amazing but they're not really realistic so if that's what you want you want to have more realistic looking using any technique just use the right realistic colors rule number two make sure that you understand one of the techniques a fluid art which calls swipe this is an amazing technique which uses silicone and allows us to create this cool bubbles which looks so much like breeze on a sea so it's like really like you see all these small cells and it's amazingly reminding the sea just doing this already will solve so many problems for you if you're not familiar with this technique, just check out the, the link um, under this video. And there I will put the link for the video where I'm explaining what is the swipe and how to create it. Rule number three, <laughs> use the right tools. So in order to create beautiful sea, there are free blowing tools, which amazingly working when you're creating the seascape. It's hair dryer, uh, blower, and the straw. Those three work the magic on any painting when you're trying to create the seascape. Let me show one by one how to create the beautiful sea just using those secrets. What we do right now, we take the old painting, something I did not like and I want to cover, but that will be perfect right now for us to create in this seascape we starting with a cup of a blue colors we would need it as a main wave so i'm putting more dark colors i'm also adding a little bit black just to make sure it's really dark and a little bit maybe more green as well just to get in touch with this painting it's all yellow but i do want to make sure it's connected to my painting you remember uh, rule number one you want to make sure the colors are believable if i want to create the painting which will remind me the waves 
maximum. Okay, that should be enough. Now I'm creating one more cup, which will be lighter colors. I start with white. That will be the top wave. Basically what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to recreate the wave itself, which is pretty cool, right? I'm also adding some blue colors and the rest will be the lighter colors, lighter blue. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And again, guys, let your hair down. Really enjoy the process. Add any colors you feel will go right with this. I'm just trying to be more realistic in an abstract way. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but it is what it is. That's what we will do. Okay, I got some paint on my painting. That's fine, don't worry about this. So basically I can do two techniques. I can do the flip cup or I can do pour. Let me think what I want more. Let me do the flip cup. Okay, the reason why I wanna do it, I wanna make sure I have really nice color combinations which I can swipe all across mm -hmm, just like that and let me go this way I need to make sure I have it covered all the way until the bottom and you see how the blue is spreading very nicely that's exactly what I wanted Okay, just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Perfect. What we do now, we take our light paint and you see how here I have something blue. Normally I could go both ways. I could go this way or I could go that way. But since I already have something blue here, let me use that. Or maybe opposite, I can create something and it will have, hmm, that's interesting, what I want to leave open. You know what, I still will go from here. Starting from here and I am creating that cool wave, which will go all the way, all the way. I'm covering it all the way, just like that. Look, it's already look incredible, right? And we just starting. You remember what I said in my rule? I said we would need the swipe technique. That's rule number two. <gasps> Oops, uh-oh. I did a little bit too much but that's still okay. That's again, the white with silicone. So what I do right now, I'm spreading it like that, like a wave, like a wave. And clean it right there. So you did the white and clean it up. And you go like you would go if you would have the real wave. Now let's work on our top. We can create here. You see the waves we can create like in a small scale. That's so cool, right? Just like that. And you can go this way. Try to recreate this. Wow, look at this. Let's just add that. Look at this. Oh my gosh, 
and again if you got the drop that's fine just work it out in a way form no problem just make sure you are working it out let this drop So we can add a little bit darker color, go right there. It's, it's a wave. It can be just one color. We need to make sure we have multiple colors and they all go here. here. You need to have a feeling that the waves are really playing with each other. They really creating some movements I do feel that the, it would be cool if I would have the yellow part here I lost it somehow completely but I really like that, so what I do, make it clean, just like that. I really like all these parts, I really like how the sea is moving, I really like the fact that I have my dark colors going all the way up and forming the wave. I like it a lot actually. goes down in a wave yeah now you can easily see that's a wave and it's all there you know what maybe I need to close one of those it's free it's just too symmetrical that's what I don't like okay now I see what I don't like you see sometimes it takes a time to understand what you like what you don't and if you don't like something that's fine you can still fix it just like that and you can just take a little bit paint and you can just go over and okay. create something beautiful wow guys what do you think isn't it gorgeous or what really cool it's gorgeous it's easy it's breezy we did it really really fast and we use two of our rules swipe actually all three swipe the tool I use the tool I use the straw and the um, the colors all three secrets yay looks great 